good morning and g'day mate and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty, and the wonderful Voltron, Defender of the Universe. In today's episode, um, we're back here on our lava planet, our lava planet that we, we arrived to many, many, many episodes ago, and we got some bare basics set up. Uh, we basically set up, well, a small production line here to make ourselves uh, the wonderful green motors, also another small production line, uh, oh, over here, over here, to make us CPUs, because this was the only planet that had silicon, but... Since then, we've expanded. We've expanded. We've done many, many things. And um, one thing we never did is we never came back here to um, collect all these resources. So, uh, in today's episode, whilst we're here on this wonderful planet, we need to do a couple of things. One, we need to set up advanced miners on us, so all the resources are tapped. On top of that, at the same time, we need to set up just a smelter, or three, to just to make sure all the resources are, you know, pre-smelted before they leave the planet. And finally, we need to set up um just a little bit of, uh, well, well, rail ejectors, so we can make sure that all the items are shipped uh, into the sun, and we can start getting um a Dyson Swarm going. But before we get to any of that, I need to ask that very important question. And of course, that is, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. You're not happy with the video. You didn't enjoy the video. Uh, the wonderful Voltron has said, well, you can have your like back. Uh, so with that out of the way, let's get to um, today's business. Today's business is, well, find the very first ore patch you can, go into here and throw down advanced miner. Yep then rinse and repeat. All the ore is tapped. Being a lava world, this has an awful lot of ore on it, which means it's now time for smelters. Uh, now smelters, smelters, you may ask me, how many smelters? What is the general rule of thumb? And my general rule of thumb is it really depends on how many thumbs you have. Personally, I have two thumbs, so for every two million ore, I plan on putting down yet another smelter. With the smelters now done, um, I need to fly around the planet. I need to fly around the planet. I need to make sure all the transparent green things stop being transparent. After we've done that, we should be good to get up with, um, well, well, all the um, solar cells that we need to produce. There's nothing left to do but set up our requests where we're just going to bring everything into a couple of towers. And then, um, well, from here, we're going to ship everything out. Uh, two for iron, two for titanium. I have an awful lot of iron. I also have an awful lot of copper. I think I'm going to end up putting in an extra tower. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put in an extra tower. So I have uh, one for stone, one for glass. I uh, also have, well, two for iron, uh, one for copper. I think we're going to straight away put in an extra tower. Um, well, here looks good. Yep, here looks good. And can we have a power pole? Yep. And we'll put in another one for copper. Can I have those? Plus those. Set you 100% and go. Uh, another one for copper. Uh, also want... So there's two for copper, two for iron, two for titanium. I'm not bothering with coal. Uh, we only have a drop of coal left on this uh, with this, this planet. And the coal-wise, um, well, we're just going to change you to remote storage yep um i guess i can leave you like that uh can you have eight drones that should be enough um yes we're gonna leave the coal here coal is wherever it is getting turned to juice and juice is yeah i can't find it, it it's 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 a build somewhere ah juice Juice. We're just moving all the coal into here, even using a logistics tower to bring it across uh, and converting all our coal into juice. Juice is then only being used for the one silicon smelter that we have somewhere on this planet. Even with all the nice icons, I still can't find things. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the one the one poor um, silicon smelter. Yeah. So that's going to juice all our silicon, give us that extra 20% because, well, we didn't have a lot of silicon on this planet to start with. I'm going to end up in a situation where everything's dead except for the coal, which is going to be converted to juice. And I guess I'll just ship the juice out. Um, I don't know. Don't know. We'll jump that hurdle then. Uh, but the other thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to bring in, rather than shipping out, um, actually two things. I'm going to want to bring in, or I'm going to want to be shipping out steel. Uh, I also am going to want titanium alloy because the only thing stopping me doing titanium alloy on this planet is, well, acid. So we don't have acid as a rare resource yet, but we will in the future, trust me. So I want to do acid here. Uh, yeah, also means I'm going to need warpers. The, the list is getting longer. Um, hmm. Silicon. 
actually, where was that tower that I was just looking at? Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, you have warpers already, don't you? You do. And that's a local supply. And you could go into a hat network. Uh, can I do hat? Uh, with that color belt works for me. With that type of chest. And can I just cap you to one and set you to be warpers? And then throw a hat on the box and make sure distribute and done. Okay, because I would not mind bringing warpers here so I could bring in warpers remote, uh, bring in acid remotely and then ship acid around because I want to do titanium alloy. I, there's no reason not to do titanium alloy on this particular planet as well. It has an awful lot of iron, also has a little, awful lot of titanium. So we can definitely do that here. I just need to imp import acid. The other thing I need to import is I need to import sales. Uh, we're going to set you up with a remote demand. Yes. Okay. And whilst I'm here, I need to hat network my way warpers. Uh, there and there. And storage. There. One of them. And can you be set for warpers? One slot's overkill. Uh, guess. Request. And done. Okay. So I need to fly to wherever that sh that, 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 that thingy was. Here. Fly here. Get that built. And then, um, yeah, it's time for us to actually start launching solar sails. Now, actually, no. There's one other thing I need to do uh, on this planet before we start launching solar cells. One other small thing I need to do. Uh, oh, helps if I set a filter. Uh, warpers. Okay, you have warpers. You're gonna ship warpers the other one. All right. Uh, now this, 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 this planet. This planet is. We're stealing power from it. We've been stealing power from it for a very, very long time. Um, we are bringing in and out uh, the wonderful accumulators. Uh, so I did dump down just just a few more, um, like you know, a number, a number uh, more energy exchanges, just so I could get a little bit more power um, shipped back. In fact, actually, I think I'm going to uh, room for one belt. Foundation required. Well, I could probably do that. Uh, we have. Some towers that have some amount of foundation in them. Can I just fill that hole in? Okay, try again. Uh, not that tile, up one tile. There. And... Uh, there, 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 and there. Can I... I can do that. Okay, all right. Uh, so this is bringing in flat accumulators, not the flat type, but you know, the, the lack of power type. Uh, and then we're going to dump those into these guys, which are going to go into, well, these guys and flat ones in there and flat ones in there and flat ones in here. This is all about charging capacity. Because on the home world, we're a little bit short on power. And it's going to get a lot worse before it gets a lot better. And in theory, if there's enough accumulators in the network, which is a big if, uh, this will give us potentially a whole lot more power. Uh, each one of these can charge at the default rate of 54 megawatts. But I have made sure, and that's one of the reasons why we have juice here, that we're juicing the accumulators. As long as the accumulators are juiced, well, then we can charge them at a, a what is it, 20%? 20% rate? 50% rate. Yes. So that brings us from 50 kilowatts up to like 80 kilowatts or something. 74, whatever. It, it's some magical number. We can charge them an awful lot faster. Can we throw that in there? Because I don't need that. Uh, yes. So that's one thing I need to do. The other thing I need to do. Oh, it might be too late. You, your belts are empty, and your belt's not empty. Supply. Um. Well, it's mostly empty. Okay, uh, the other thing I want to do before we leave is 
this old build, I want to decommission it. Um, I want to decommission both the old processor build and also the old green engine build because we just don't need it anymore. Uh, and that'll free us up some space to, well, um, start launching some solar cells. Uh, so can we go from that corner to that corner and say remove and then remove that tower? I do love that. Uh, oh, one thing I do want to do is I want to make sure I removed a big thing that was connected to the power grid from there to there. I want to reconnect it just in case that's important. Just in case that splits the power grid. All right, uh, we need to come over here. Can we also turn on the nightlight just to, you know, uniformity and everything? Uh, come to here and I want to do the exact same. So I want to go from here to here and then remove that and definitely reconnect that to that and then remove those two belts as well yeah because it's back in the old day where we were poor and everything was belt fed because i didn't have the resources to make drones yeah though times have changed okay so with those two gone and we now have a bunch of solar cells here i need to put together a solar cell build and i'm thinking well actually right here right here should do us yeah uh, we don't need too much clear area you know in theory if you're gonna if you're gonna really really put some time some effort into you know setting up your solar cells and you really want to you know maximize your launching capabilities you'd normally wrap it around a pole or, or the equator if you feel like it or the other pole but um as it's a lava planet with both or oh yeah we might just need to build that ah oh 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 and that and that and that, and that, and that. Uh, can I build a fab? See, when you do the whole planet at once, there's a few small things you miss out on, like the correct amount of power poles. Uh, but they're all counting now, so that's that job done. All right, uh, it's also one of the reasons I, I have, I play with mods, so like I can get a very quick overview and go, okay, you, you have a zero. That's probably a wrong number. Whereas seeing this flashy thing, the, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, sales, sales, sales. Um, yes, if you launch them from around the equator, you generally get a better launch window. Yes, because there's always some part of the world that's facing the right direction. Uh, in my case, I just don't care. Um, well, I will care in the future, but for right now, I don't care. Uh, what I do care about is putting you guys in there, setting you up for sales and power. And then what I want to do is I want to keep things as simple as possible. So we're going to bring a belt out the middle uh, for sales. I'm going to run it to about here. Now, I need to, uh, under Cosmo, I need to grab one of these cannons. And rotation blocked by very tall building. Okay. I need to put you not one tile, but two tiles away. Two tiles away. I need to put you two tiles away. And then I need to put you one tile away. Okay, can you go closer? I really want to start as close to the building as possible. Okay. And you have to be two tiles away. And then we're going to offset you by one. Because you're going to need a sorter each. Even though all the modern guns... Just the belt. They sit on the belt. These guys don't sit on the belt. These guys need a slaughter. And I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'd much prefer if they sat on the belt. And I need a power pole. Cool. Uh, that's what I need. But uh, I need to set up, well, where they're going to be shooting to. Now, that means I need to go into, you know, this many. And then I need to go through here and I need to set up a whole bunch of orbits. And I could do that. And that's a very valid thing to do. My other option is I can click paste. Um, and this will put in, well, 20, 20, 20 um, different orbits and this is what i like to call my um mm, skittles my skittles squarm yeah yeah uh, well, well i'll explain you know as we start launching but i want to set you for number one i want to set you for number two and then i want to copy you uh without the belt and i want to put you about here that was the correct spot okay then i want to click and drag and i want to hit the minus button so you're you know oh i made the belt long enough Okay, uh, one, two, uh, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so if that's ten, I want about twice as long, which is probably at about here. And I need to place it on top of you, drag this way, 
hit the minus button, drag, oh, and remove the belt, and then drag to left. Come on, Voltron, I need you to come over here and build all the belt. All the belt has to be built first. Ooh, technically if it works. No, they won't accept the, uh, the last ones. Okay, shift enter to accept because the power poles are being placed over power poles. It turns out the game doesn't like that. So after we get to seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 20 uh we're just gonna remove you guys temporarily yep and i'll remove you you and you temporarily as well uh that is 20 cannons with 20 different orbits so i am going to hit demand and that should get the solar cells launched across we can turn off the night light for just a second because it's probably important that we know which side the planet is bright at the moment which side is dark and of course we're going into the dark side right now because well uh, my luck my luck, my luck, my luck. Uh, and I want to copy and paste from there. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're now on the dark side, which means I need to wait before any of these can launch. But what I want to do is I want to copy like 20 cannons. And then we're going to scroll out to map view. And we're going to, you know what? I could fit about 20 cannons about here and about 20 cannons here. And I could probably fit 20 cannons ish here. And 20 cannons here, and 20 cannons here, and... Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely fit about 20 cannons here, and about 20 here, and... That's a little bit short. Uh, oh, definitely here, and probably there, and I'm out of cannons already. Uh, oh, oh, oh! That needs some foundation. Can we just bring out the foundation and just fill in some holes? Actually, we might just remove this one. This one's a little bit bad. Like, it does better with foundations. Uh... Yep. Okay, paste. Uh, we'll put you there. We'll put you here. Um, oh, look at this free space. Look, one there and one here. And... Yeah, that looks like it'll do us. Okay, uh, and then from there, we're going to... Come at the front with an entirely different belt. And we'll run you through to there. And then we'll grab a different belt again and run that to, well, here. Yeah. And that didn't hook up to the power grid by sheer accident. So we'll give you a power pole so you plugged it in. And they're already aimed and facing, well, that way. Yep. Yep. Uh, and you're done. How many am I short? 91. Wow, that added up real quick. Okay, can I? Oh, 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 actually. Uh, we have room here so can i just put you oh i don't have any in stock now because they're all down as ghosts yeah i wouldn't mind extending that like if there's more room on the belt let's go for it okay uh, can we grab another belt from here uh i forgot to set a filter there to there to there to here yep can we fly it's just gonna be quicker that is until i need to set a filter uh, okay, cool. And we'll get this road up. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. We've spun far enough. We're now firing. We're firing. Okay. Uh, where this belt ends, this belt starts. Done. Uh, you have a start. So can I go from you? From you to you to you to you to you lack of item okay fine i'll swap out the crappier belt i don't mind we don't really need the throughput at least i hope not and yeah yeah we are firing multiple cannons as fast as possible yeah this is what i want to say uh okay so that's gonna get that row built that'll get that row built that row is just about built uh there's Okay, there's a number more. Yep, yeah, I'm going to have to go home and get more ejectors, plus I need more belts anyway. But, as you can see, these are going to randomly fire into all of the many, um, well, the many, many different swarms. And they're going to really light up our night sky. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, uh, it's what I call, you know, 
the Skittles, the Skittles swarms, or uh, the RGB vomit, or um, yeah, unicorn vomit. Uh, either or, all, all these names are acceptable in my book. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of random swarms with random colors. Yeah, uh, I'm not too proud of myself. Well, I am a little bit proud of myself because, well, why not? Why not? Uh, okay, we're gonna bring that one through to there and uh, I wanna bring, I guess, this belt. Whilst we're here, we'll grab this one and bring you through to here. And then this one through to here. And like this straight section here, I can totally put more cannons on it. Um, yeah, anywhere there's a straight bit of belt, add more cannons, add more cannons. We just wanna get sails ejected as fast as we possibly can, pretty much. Uh, I also want to fill that little bit of area. And I'm pretty sure. No. Ah, without the belt. What happens if I do it now? No. Okay. Well, I don't know why you're blocked. Here, we'll try a tiny bit more landfill. Oh, hang on. Is there a ditch here? Oh, there's a ditch right here. That's why you're blocked. Uh, without the belt. Nope. Okay. I don't know. I probably need one actually in my pocket to test it. Okay. So that'll bring us out to here. That'll bring us out to here. Uh, and then I have, well, that went through a building, so probably not. Uh, we can do you into you. And I can bring you into you. Oh, and wow, well, I was overzealous a lot. Okay, so I want to get uh, all of these up and running. That's going to be step number one. And then step number two is to see if production meets demand or demand meets production. Yeah, uh, that's really the next big job. I want to see how many of these we're launching because, well, the more I launch, the better. Uh, I want to go to that tile, which I think is... No, it's definitely not that tile. Is it that tile? That tile. Uh, okay, and then I want to go from you to... Oh, there's a... There's a patch in the way. There's the original silicon patch. Uh, okay, can we just go one, two, three uh, over the top? And down the ground level, and there. Oh, 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 you didn't get power. I apologize, I wasn't paying that much attention. Here you go, have power. And you don't have sails. I broke the belt. Oh, you also don't have sails. I really broke the belt. Ah, yep, yeah, uh, the, the green belt on the ground that has nothing on it. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Meanwhile, whilst we're doing this, uh, research is continuing. We have, well, uh, the last two levels of Space Fleet expansion. This is White Science, so I can't get that until I unlock White Science. Uh, also, now we're actually launching sails. And can I fly to here whilst we talk? Now I'm launching sails. Uh, we can see the sails going up, but they have a maximum lifespan. So I've actually started a timer and have a maximum lifespan that I need to deal with. So currently, they're only good for 6,600 seconds, which is what? Uh, minutes? Minutes. It's some amount of minutes. Edo JD, I'm going to trust Edo JD because I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but also doing mass lives live often leads to mistakes. Yeah. Uh, so we have a limited amount of time before they're going to dissipate. And when they dissipate, they basically, well, fall apart. Because what we're essentially launching into space, if we don't remember, is a solar cell, which is made out of a uh, photon combiner, which is made out of, um, well, a couple of prisms, which is made out of glass. We're launching glass into space. You know, I'd love to take all of our wonderful uh, photon combiner solar cells and launch them at our wonderful friends that we keep in space, uh, our lovely, lovely high friends, as fast as possible, as hard as possible, because they're going to make thousands of these very quickly. The problem is, um, well, they're glass. They literally shatter on impact. So they're not going to do me a whole lot of good. Uh, doesn't matter how many of them I launch. They're made out of metal. Yeah. So that's probably a bad idea. Uh, but what is a good idea is trying to launch as many as possible and then 
Well, get some photon combiners. Photon combiners? No. Uh, ray receivers. Ray receivers. Ray receivers. Uh, and then um, I need to pull the power out of the Dyson Swarm and turn it into, um, well, antimatter. And once I have antimatter, I can then start making white science, which is really a goal. So we do have a couple of things we can do to increase the lifespan of our current solar sails. And that would be these three researchers. So I can add another... 600 900 and 900 seconds to the total life of the solar sails but no matter what they will fall apart i can also add these last three researchers four research four researchers and then we're absolutely out of things that i can research before having white sites but i need to have um 91 of these things probably 100 and something i also need to possibly have some faster belt uh so with that uh problem we're gonna head over to hope and that means we also get to swim through the rainbow. Yep. Yep. See, look, I said it's pretty. I said it's very, very pretty. It's super pretty. You know, it's all different colors and all different orbits. Nobody can understand exactly which sail's going in what direction, but that's perfectly fine because, well, it's pretty. Uh, we also need to land right there on that green strip because I need to visit the bus because I need to pick up some ray receivers. Uh, there, please. Hello? There. Uh, close. The other end. Yeah, this end. Okay. Uh, the other problem we're going to have is, as we can see, we're now making 200 megawatts worth of power in the sun. The caches of the 200 megawatts we're making, uh, well, sorry, 260 megawatts we're making, um, 40 megawatts is being stolen by our friends, which is problematic. It also means that these threat numbers are going to constantly increase uh, the more stuff we launch into space. They're not particularly happy about it. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Okay, a uh, couple of things I want to do whilst we're here is I want to uh, basically uncap a lot of these chests. Uh... Yeah, what, what's stopping you? Nothing. Okay, you are running. Uh, I want to uncap a lot of these chests because, well, the more works, the more works over time. It doesn't work quickly. It works slowly and methodically. Um, like, if we go back to you, you are making them a rate of 11.3 per minute. Uh, you're running at a rate of 9 per minute. You're running at a rate of, well, you know, many thrusters, 0 per minute. Uh, so it runs very, very slowly, but very methodically. And that's sort of one of the problems. Um, Hence why I need to have a large enough cap in a lot of these boxes so I don't run out. Uh, we're happy with 100 of you, 50 of you, 120 of you. Uh, there. Uh, you are actually for bringing items in, not for taking them out. Uh, you are the ray receivers. So I only have 20 of these. I really want a whole lot more of these. An awful lot more of these. Uh, I needed, well, three stacks would give me 120. That's probably enough but let's extend you out to there shields 200 uh yeah lasers we're okay on uh belts belts can i put a chest on top of the belts box and can i uncap that one completely and uncap that one completely yep same goes for sorters uh when we start mass going through these things we're gonna mass go through them actually i'll probably cap one lot so i have room to put stuff back if i need to uh, you, in theory, I'm bringing 400 and putting it in my pocket. Yeah, it's probably good for now. Uh, you are uh, capped to how many? 100. Uh, yeah, I need you capped to 200. Uh, yeah, yeah, 200. Uh, you are making batteries. Batteries are automatically being shifted into here to do things here. If they can't be shoved in there to do that, they are being flown up to here where they're being shoved in the tower okay we have an awful lot of them so in theory we can get extra charge uh because yes power on this planet is going to come it always it already is an issue the only reason we're surviving is well we're running the energy exchanges pulling power out of those batteries um so yeah i want to have a decent stockpile of batteries so we're going to leave you running but i am going to increase you up to that amount and you same story i increase you to there you reset to 80 80 is enough to do two gas giants uh you we're gonna increase to that's 500 500 seems fine uh fidget spinners we're gonna go to 400 uh the drones the drones uh we have because we've been doing research now have the ability for 
four fleets of uh, wonderful drones. Um, I'm going to increase this to... Mm, let's take it 100. That's 500. Yeah. Uh, I want to mention very, very quickly, because it either has come up in the comments or it's going to come up in the comments. Uh, these are attack drones. And people are going to say, why don't you use the precision drones? And th there's a quite simple answer between the two of them. Um, if I... Can I just put one of those there? Cool. All right. Uh, you have a, a durability. Durability of 200 plus 184. Whatever the durability numbers and all these different numbers are, they're, they're going to be the same at this tech level. So that's the important thing. I'm comparing this tech level to this tech level, not my tech level to your tech level, because obviously my tech level and your tech level might not line up, but my tech level to my tech level definitely does line up. So I have a total durability of 384 compared to, well, what's that? 460. Yeah. Uh, the damage output for this little guy is 30. The damage output for this guy is 60, so twice the amount of damage. Uh, you have a fire rate of 2.4 plus 1.44, so that's a fire rate of, what, uh, 3.8, uh, let's go with 3.8. Uh, you have a fire rate of, uh, 2.4. So, you fire a lot faster with half the amount of damage, you fire a lot sl slower with twice the amount of damage. More chance for overkill. I understand, I understand, you know, that might not be what you want. Overkill is generally bad, you just want to do just enough damage to get the kill, nothing more. But, you know, Yes, yes. Uh, but you have a shooting range of 16 meters. You have a shooting range of 42 meters. So you actually shoot a lot further and do half as much damage twice as often, roughly. Uh, you also have a flight speed of 38 meters per second compared to your flight speed of 42 meters per second. So the precision drones shoot more often, do less damage overall on a pure dam uh, DPS scale actually do less damage uh but they also have a longer range and they move around faster uh bigger slower heavier hitting that's pretty much what they can boil down to uh for the moment just so i only have to carry one of them i'm going to choose to carry the precision drones and as i can put them in here and make them not sit in my inventory i'm perfectly happy with that in the future, I might carry around some of these, but for the moment, we're just going to go with all the attack drones in the world. Yeah, I meant attack drones every single time I said precision drones. I meant attack drones. Okay, uh, you, I'm going to uncap an awful lot. I don't expect we're going to be using you, but we'll see. Uh, hats, we're good with one lot. Uh, you, we're going to add two more too. Uh, you're fine. Babs, technically 200, but then again, I don't think I'm going to need 200, because I think the ones I have on me, uh, we should be good for for pretty much life. Uh, labs. Can I get a few more labs? Uh, tanks. More tanks. Uh, chem plants. No, because we now have the tier 2 chem plants. You are actually refineries. I want to take you up to about 150. You, there's never going to be more than 40 oil on a planet. So you're good. You're good. Uh, you're good. You're good. Uh, power poles. That's a thousand. That's now 2,000. Uh, wind turbines. That's a lot. That's even more. And actually, how much is that? A thousand. Uh, no, actually, we're probably okay on a thousand. Yeah, I think I'm okay on a thousand. Yeah, I think I'm okay on a thousand. Uh, old fashioned miners, no. Uh, smelters, definitely smelters. All the smelters. I, I do get better smelters, but better smelters require more power. Uh, assemblers, we're fine on. Belt, we're fine on. Engines, we're fine on. Can I press tab on some of these boxes? Uh, yep. Uh, yep, yep, and yep, and yep, and yep, and remove, and you do magnets, right? Yep, you have some magnets. Uh, you do copper. Okay, that's full. And there's no explicit box for iron. Oh, no, there is, there is. Uh, you, you do iron. There you go, have some iron. Okay, I'm a little bit happy with my inventory. And you do silicon and some stone can go manually into uh well that looks short there you go cool uh bricks no i mean bricks okay all right uh one thing i do need to do whilst we've walked all the way up the bus and we're waiting on more ray receivers to be built is uh on this particular planet this particular planet we are now at the point where i'm going to be dealing mainly with smelted materials so we're going to be bringing in less raw materials more smelted materials but 
there are going to be some things that are still going to have to be brought in raw. Mainly anything that feeds into the bus for now. And eventually I might change it over to, well, yep, uh, finalized materials. But for the moment, we're going to go with uh, a whole lot of raw, res raw resources. And I'm going to make sure that each one of these, lack of item. I asked for belts. Oh, I didn't turn that on. Oh, this whole time I mean procrastinating and 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 it didn't work because i didn't turn the logistic spots on that's a shame okay uh where was it oh yes i was gonna run that into there i'm gonna have some side loading uh just whipped up real quick uh because what i want to do is i want to make sure that even though it looks like our iron supply let's turn that on our iron supply is just about out for this particular iron patch uh, which is this patch right here, which is feeding the bus. Um, no matter what, I still need to make sure the iron ore comes in here. So we're going to set you up for iron ore. I'm going to sideload it. So it's going to use what's from that patch as the primary and then just use, well, everything it needs from this tower as a secondary. Same with copper, same with stone. I want to make sure that this, uh, the bus keeps running no matter what, especially as now I've uncapped a whole bunch of boxes and I sort of need that mass production to happen. Uh, I also probably wouldn't hurt in... Uh, doing well, that upgrade and that upgrade. Yep, a couple of uh, critical belts here and here, here and there. Mainly those ones right at the start. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt if they were upgraded and ran a little bit faster. Uh, can I? Is it you? It is you. Okay, got that in there. Uh, can I also dump a CPU in? Nope. Uh, nope. And yes. And I have two bits of iron ore. Cool. Delete. And what was the other thing that I found I had? Uh, you. Uh, which you can't receive because that's maxed out. Uh, but I can probably just put that straight into that building. Cool. All right. All right. So we should have how we have our inventory refilled with things. I definitely have enough, uh, hopefully, enough rail ejectors. But what I do need to grab is... Uh, more of you guys yep and can i just grab another set of those okay so with us popping back grabbing the things that we need we should have everything i need to go back to everything else i needed just belt a lot of belt uh which is here yeah i'm just gonna grab all the belt that seems like the easiest solution if i grab too much i can always bring it back okay uh or spend it elsewhere all right. Hey, look at that rainbow. Okay, uh, we need to go over to here. Uh, so, whoop. all right. Look at how shiny it is. So we need to get, we need to get any matter. That's really the thing I need to do to, to start making white science. I also need to technically research white science. So technically, we have two more things we can research. But I need to get any matter. Now to get any matter, I need to run uh, into the planet. Cool. I also need to be able to run this recipe. So this recipe will take a bright, shiny white thing and split it in two. One of it's going to be hydrogen and the other ones are going to be antimatter. And that's the magic recipe I need to have running. But to get that recipe and to get the magic shiny things, I need to find this box. So I can press tab. Uh, I need to... This pun is horrible. Um... Oh, this pun is worse. Uh, let's go with this side. <sighs> I need to put in some of these ray receivers. These ray receivers which will let us absorb the power uh, from the Dyson Sphere. Uh, you know what? We're going to come to here. Uh, this is going to be our starting location. Oops. Let me put down a ray receiver. Uh, one, they make a funny noise. Two, they have a little eyeball. This little eyeball. Whoop. This little eyeball. Yep, that little eyeball. Uh, it follows the sun. Uh, how do I know? Well, it follows the... Yeah, it follows the sun. Uh, how do I know? Because if I turn on um, our super duper nightlight, it then faces the imaginary sun that's right above us. But if I walk around, it rotates because it's following the imaginary sun that's right above us that provides the wonderful light so we don't have to do things in the dark. Yep. So, uh, it's going to face the sun, and if it can see the sun, which 
technically currently a cam. Don't ask. It's, 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 the sun's right there. It's like right over the edge. Yeah. Uh, it's going to receive, well, a few megawatts worth of power. Just a tiny bit of power, a little bit of power. Uh, but it's going to request an awful lot of power for the little bit of power that it brings back. Yeah, that's going to rotate slowly as the sun goes around orbit the planet. Yeah. So, uh, the way these work is they have a max output. Max output is 6 megawatts, uh, but they're requesting 12 megawatts from the actual Dyson Sphere. So, if I bring up the Dyson Sphere really quickly, which is already up to 650 megawatts, we can see that I'm requesting 12.5 megawatts, but this is only providing us a little over 6 to the network. And the reason is, is a whole lot of uh, inefficiencies. A whole lot of inefficiencies that we can research away, potentially, at least some of them, uh, with this one. And where are we? are we? We're at Dyson Solar so Life. Ah, Ray, Ray Basic Power Dissipation. So I'm losing 50% of the power due to inefficiencies. Now, as we don't do more research, I can, you know, remove a lot of that efficiency. On top of that, the longer these, these guys are in the sun, the higher this continuous receive goes up. The higher the continuous receive goes up, uh, the more total power I can get out of one of these. Now, my biggest issue is going to be that if I throw down a power pole, um, I don't need the power on this planet. I don't need the power at all. So putting these on this planet is pointless for me. I need the planet, uh, I need the power elsewhere. And in fact, I don't need the power at all. I actually need photons. So if I swap this to from uh, the power generation mode to the photon mode, we can see I'm now doing um, a whole lot more power about 10 times the amount of power an awful lot of power also it's going to make these photons at a rate of 2.6 per minute yeah for one of them it's also requesting 100 megawatts worth of power total out of our dyson sphere which means after i put down seven of these guys two three four five six let's go with eight eight for good measure yep cool and then i bring this up uh, yeah, we're only doing 92.9%. 9%, which is just scraping by. Oh, 93. We're doing better. We're doing better. Uh, yeah, we are producing... We're, we're, we're requesting more power than we're generating. Yes. And, of course, the longer the computer's receive goes up, the more power that they actually can request, and therefore the worse it gets. Also, somebody's going to come and sit here on this planet and do this a whole lot. And oh, uh, can I just add a bit of foundation there? Yep, and just drag that yep, through to there ish. Uh, there, there, there. So I want this line, I hope. Yep, that lines up. And oh, that didn't make it very far. Uh, foundations just a little bit. And over here. A bit more foundation. And not quite. Go on, yep, fly. Okay. And then we drag this through to oh no, I ran out. I ran out. Uh so now I as you can see I am requesting uh five gigawatts worth of power. Yep. Yeah, uh, also the Dyson's, uh, uh, the Dyson Hives, the, the, um, the, gosh, um, the fog. The fog's pulling 841 megawatts worth of power. They're stealing my power. Uh, but also these guys are now producing uh, less, less overall. I have more machines, so technically it's all as uh, exactly the same. Because like at the end of the day, you can request 100% power or you can request 150% power. It's the same, it's still the same amount of power. Technically requesting, yes, there are some inefficiencies and some losses in there but i'm planning for the future so i'm going to request all the power but i also had now have a problem that you guys are going to output your shiny things on a belt uh which means i need to well build a few belts and hook them up to a few of these machines to make sure i have all the shiny things in the world being put into a tower uh that i can collect yeah, so then we can ship them to Gala Planet, so then we can break them open. So then, after they've been broken open, I can then turn them into science. Yeah, uh, which means I need to wrap a belt all the way... Crap, you're in the way. Uh, yep, and yep. Uh, crap, which tile were we on? We're on 
this tile. Which is the second tile? Oh gosh. I don't know. That looks straight, right? Yeah, that's straight. And that's straight. And that's straight. Hey. There. Cool. Uh, yeah, I need to walk around the whole planet and do a whole lot of this and have all of these plugged into the belt. And I also need to see you guys in the next episode. Because in the next episode, not only are we going to start cracking these and start making white cubes, at the same time, I need to, well, uh, go and yell at any production that's not running fast enough on the homeworlds, the new homeworlds, hope. Uh, also need to make the next big leap because we have, uh, like I said, started a clock timer, you might say, on our solar cells falling apart. So yeah, I need to attach them to something so they can rest a happier, longer life. I, I need to start making a sphere, which means I also need to make carrier rockets because that's what goes into making a dice sphere. So we need to get that uh, at least looked at in the next episode, if not completed, and uh, a, a sphere starting to be built. But either way, I'm going to leave this episode here. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in, well, the very next video. All right, bye.